My name's Alex Bateman. Take your origami DNA template and turn it over so the white side is upwards. Then fold the paper in half. Be careful to make the creases accurately. And to make the creases strong, use your fingernails. Don't fold along this thick line, but turn the paper over and we're going to fold along this thin line. Be careful to make the crease accurate and using your fingernails make it firm. Then unfold the paper and make the next crease. Keep working away along and then when you're about halfway along it's easier if you turn the paper around and start again at the beginning. Now turn the paper over and we're going to fold the diagonal creases. Fold along the thin line. Carefully and accurately fold along the creased line and make sure that the crease doesn't extend into the white border and then unfold and then move on to the second crease. And continue until you get to about halfway along and then you can turn the paper around and start at the beginning again. Now we're going to fold the white edge down. This reveals the letters of the DNA code. This is a long crease, so take your time to make sure it's accurate. Turn the paper over and we're going to fold the white edge down again. Partly unfold the crease that you've just made, then turn the paper over and repeat. The helix is already starting to form. Now turn your hands and we're going to twist the model and push the two ends together. Be brave. Now we just have to do a little bit of tidying up of some of the creases. We'll move around the edge, gently making sure all the creases are nicely formed. Here's one that's not quite right. We'll just flatten that carefully and continue on round the model. Now DNA is a double helix, so when we finish this side, we have to go back up the other side. Again, gently flattening all the creases. You're almost done now. All that's left to do is let go of the model and let your origami DNA form. <laughs>